Hi everyone, I just finished making a bottom cage pan for my mischiefs critter nation. Basil, this little booger, is a big chewer. She especially likes to chew the bottom pan. So far, I've been using hardware cloth to cover up the holes, but I don't like using it because it's hard to make a clean edge. I've tried covering the edges with electrical tape just because my rats don't like it as much as regular tape, but you can see here that they still chew it and I don't like exposing my mischief to the sharp edges. It also didn't stop Basil from chewing the pan at all. Hardware cloth is really hard to clean and I didn't realize how much debris would fall through onto the bottom shelf of the Critter Nation. They also like to pee in this area, which would also go straight through and it was just a mess to clean. So I racked my brain for a solution. I've considered metal pans, but those are really expensive and they seem bulky and difficult to clean, which is very important to me. I was originally planning on just getting a replacement pan from Midwest Homes, the brand that makes Ferret and Critter Nations, but those are $25 online, which is expensive if it becomes a reoccurring purchase. So I would have to think up of a way to prevent Basil from chewing the new pans. I love home improvement do-it-yourself stuff, so I thought about making a scatter guard out of thick wooden planks to maybe block Basil from getting to the edges, but the problem with that is that the original CN pans have a curved corner as well as a ridge on top of the edges, which would prevent the wooden planks from sitting flush on the edge, thus allowing Basil access to the pans. I've considered using aluminum sheets that they use for roofing material, but those would end up having sharp edges too. So I was kind of at my wit's end when I was watching a video on CNC cages for guinea pigs, and I thought, well, what about Coreplast? I knew it wouldn't be the most ideal solution, but I wanted to give it a try, so I measured the inside dimensions of their cage, which turned out to be 23 inches deep and 34.5 inches long. I went out and got a 24 by 36 inch sheet of corrugated plastic from Home Depot, wiped it down with my regular cleaner, cut it to size using a utility knife, and this is the final product. Just FYI, Coraplast is also called corrugated plastic and I think polycarbonate sheets and at least at Home Depot they're kept in the sign section as well as by the acrylic sheets and glass sheets which is where I found my 24 by 36 inch sheet despite a worker being adamant that they didn't have larger sizes than the ones that were available in the sign section. Anyways, I am very happy with the way it turned out also, just in case you were wondering, Algie's missing fur on her left side as well as on her tummy because she had a tumor removal and a spate. That's also why the cage is kind of empty, but she's recovering wonderfully. I'll post a quick update in a week or so on how the Coreplast pan fares, but until then, thanks for watching!